welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well. And our regular look at the away programmes. Yes, so we do a little table, don't we? Wolves might take some beating as we're running out of games now. And Wolves still top the table, an 8 out of 10 rating on their own there. The next best uh, was Tottenham Hotspur with 7.5, West Ham with 7.5, Leicester City with 7.5, and, and Newcastle with 7.5 in that corresponding order. So, yes, uh, today we're going to have a look at. Southampton, we've already seen one of these this season with the Carabao Cup version, of course, which, uh, although it was cheap enough, uh, wasn't very good and it sits at the bottom of the table at the moment. So let's see if this Premier League programme is any better from the Southampton game against Manchester City on the 8th of April 2023. A good result for us, of course, the 4-1 victory. So we'll have a look at that today. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Great job, young board all things city of course past present and forever as long as i'm knocking around anyway so you can press those buttons and press that like button as well if you can just try obviously the program watches don't get loads of likes but if you can try and get me to 15 i'll be very grateful it's not a massive target and get me up to that please uh be much appreciated right let's have a look at this one then it's uh yeah, three pound fifty, which is cheap enough. Uh, most most programs are four pound. Even the odd, odd city ones, five pound, isn't it, with the Champions League? But uh, three pound fifty for sixty eight pages, uh, thirteen pages of ads and promotional stuff. So not too bad. About nineteen percent, which is towards the lower end of uh, guff, if you like it, in a program. And what I try and do, obviously, there's there's the manager and captains usually and the women's teams and the under 18s eds all this sort of thing so i'll just try and look at things that are just outside of that certainly connecting southampton with city certainly connecting uh what they've got on city is it if it's any good yet yeah, well they beat me at something today anyway and I, i'm a city fan but uh but we'll, i'll take it on the chin that's for sure so, yeah, I mean, the main piece maybe of some interest to City fans, it's a little piece or a little piece, a few pages on uh, Gavin Bazunu, of course, uh, Southampton's goalie, who was at City. I think he's uh, obviously congratulating him. I think he made a, well over 100 uh, appearances by the time his 21st birthday came, came along, uh, first team appearances, so he was quite happy with that. But, uh, yeah, nothing too too in-depth to talk about. I was trying to look at anything exciting I could mention to, but not really. It's just a general article on him. Not a lot on City, really, other than the fact he came to us, and that's about it, really. Uh, James Ward-Prowse, yeah, he celebrated playing 400 games for Southampton. Yeah, I thought he was a young lad, uh, James Ward Prowse. I didn't realise he was knocking on a bit. And he's you know, clicked over the 400 games uh, just recently. So there's a little four page feature on the games. Uh, any standout games he had within that 400, which I was looking to see if there's anything for, against City, but there wasn't in that one as well. So, but interesting. Uh, of course, for Southampton fans. The Saints' regular history feature is called The Rest is History, and it takes a look at key moments through time on the on the date. So, obviously, this is the 8th of April, so it looks back at years 88 to 94, nothing significant to City. Uh, one stone at this address features another player. This is more, more likely connected with City, but, uh, yeah, we're not that bothered, in fairness. It's a, a guy called, as we know, Wayne Bridge, who was at Southampton. Obviously, for quite a while, then went away, ended up at City. I think he got loaned back to Southampton while I was at City and had a couple of derogatory things to say. But, uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a, a little interest to many Blues, in me including Mr. Wayne Bridge. I think that was just, I think it cost about £10 million at the time. I think we'll gloss over that one. Uh, Tony Knapp is a, is a 60s, uh, late 50s, 60s Saints player who sadly passed away recently, so they do a little tribute to him over a couple of pages. You've got the kids stuff, which is usual, spot the difference, uh, shirt maths, or they call it Saints Sum, uh, spot the ball, stuff like that on the kids' page. Nothing nothing exciting, but a bit, a bit of fun for the kids. Franny Benali, actually, is at the back of the programme. He just talks about recent events on and off the pitch. As far as City concerned, yeah, just six pages in the dedicated City section. They actually are brave enough to come up with a starting 11 for City, which, which I think because of print, Print deadlines, etc. We probably had to do a few few days before, but they managed to get nine out of the eleven. So they did very well. I only got eight, but I I did mine for my preview show. So I'm useless, absolutely useless. And I, I thought it was useless, and this made me feel this has made me feel even more useless because they managed to get nine out of eleven. And the very disappointing thing, and I think this was a disappointment in the Carabao Cup 
program against Southampton. There's absolutely nothing, nothing really. As I say, I had to scour through some of their articles back in time to see if there's any connection. I saw Kevin Bond as a connection, but he wasn't playing for City at the time, stuff like that. But there's nothing, nothing Saints and City, you know, as always, uh, Saints and City matches have never existed. I like that. And all right, it's ever, it's not everyone's taste, of course it isn't. But if you've got a programme for Southampton versus Manchester City, uh, it would be nice to have some historical stuff on Southampton and Manchester City, or at least some sort of connections apart from Wayne Bridge, which uh, doesn't impress anyone, does it? So very disappointing. And, and that's it, really. And it's uh, if you want to buy this, you can't get it from the shop. They don't. They don't seem to sell the programs at the shop. Uh, you can. The cheapest I've seen at the moment is on a, obviously the best known internet uh, site is seven pound forty five, and I won't be, won't be paying that. If you do want it as a memento, I'd, I'd hang on and just keep checking every week or so, see if you can get one a little bit cheaper. It's certainly not worth seven pound. It's not worth six pound. Am I seven pound forty five? But uh, very disappointing because, as I said, I keep checking the shop, but they certainly don't seem to have programs listed in the Southampton shop. So, uh, if you do want it, that might be your last option. Score wise, I would say possibly the fact that the Carabao Cup program was uh, cheap. It was only a couple of quid. Uh, Obviously, there wasn't many pages in it, and that's why I ended up probably going bottom of the league because there wasn't much in it anyway. But this isn't much better, so I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10, which is my basic rating anyway, and I'll just put it alongside the Carabao Cup programme. So poor old Southampton, uh, yeah, poor old Southampton. The, the team finds itself at the bottom of the table, and sadly the team's found itself joint bottom of the table with itself uh, for the programme, which is a great shame, but there you go. I like the cover. The cover's all right. I don't mind the cover. I like the cover. I know it's players, and I think that's a little bit bland. I don't like it when it's just players, but, you know, at least you've got an ex-City got, got ex player on the cover, haven't we? I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure that's Bazunu from the... From the it's uh, obviously a bit of artwork, but... Uh, very familiar stanchions of the Southampton ground there. So I don't mind the cover. The cover's all right. There will be a, a cover special at the end of the season, the best cover of the season. Uh, there's probably one or two City efforts might be in it where they've done something a little bit different. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But I, I can't imagine this winning it, but at least it's pleasant enough. It's, it's a nice enough cover, nice enough cover. Anyway, there you go, guys. Let me know if you bought it and you were as unimpressed as me. As I say, it certainly did take me long to to look through it. And as I said, I was scanning through articles trying to find city links, and uh, I might have missed, but might have missed them. But they're probably they're very well hidden. And if I if I are, as I said, I, I saw Kevin Bond mentioned, and my eyes lit up, but it wasn't to do with city. So there, there you go. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please. Until we meet again, that's one thing. Don't I think oh the next one, yeah, the next one. Well, we've got Fulham away, but of course we've got the uh, we'll have a special because we've got uh, an FA Cup semi final before then, haven't we? So there will be a uh, a neutral a neutral version. I won't put it into the into the league table. So there'll be that, and then obviously the next one after that is Fulham away. I won't be will be able to get to Fulham away. But doesn't you know, tickets obviously sold out before they got to my ticket points? But uh, hopefully I can pick up a a program a little less than seven pound odd. That's for sure. I mean, but I'll pay it if I have to. But uh, uh, that's a lot of money. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please until we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now.